you know, cleaning these things, it's a real pain in the butt, especially if you don't have anywhere to put them. I put mine on a towel, as you can see over here, but that's not gonna cut it anymore. So today I'm gonna build and I'm gonna show you how to turn a bunch of PVC and foam insulation and a bunch of PVC joints into a DIY saddlebag stand for your Harley Davidson touring motorcycle with extended saddlebags. At the end, we're gonna have something nicer to set these on that won't break the bank. All right, let's begin. We're gonna need a couple of tools, namely a tape measure and check this thing out I found. Yeah, this is a PVC cutter, good for up to an inch and a quarter. So that'll work for the one inch PVC we've got. And by the way, I'm using one inch PVC. You can also use three quarter inch, but I like the one inch better and the foam insulation that fits it. So let's get this out of the box and get started. Now I had my PVC pre-cut to five feet. I didn't want it bouncing out of the bed of my truck and I didn't have any ratchet straps. So now we can start with our measurements. I've written them all down and as we go through it, I'll uh, put them up on screen. Right now we're gonna cut four 20 inch sections. So here's why I got this tool, because it's ratcheting as you can hear and no dust and all the hacksawing and the weird cuts, it just works. Once you've ratcheted down and cut your pipe, you just extend these guys out, bam. Opens right up, ready for another cut. Yeah, fairly sharp. So I'm just gonna line up my blade right there with my mark. And it's hard to do facing a camera. And I'll give it a couple of ratchets till it just bites. There we go. And then watch this. Yeah, we're on that mark just straight up hand strength. Not, not that hard. Let's do the next one. So once again, we're gonna line up our blade, give it a couple of ratcheting clicks till it bites. Make sure it's in the right position. There you go. That's a fairly straight cut. It's good enough. So anyway, Let's, uh, let's get the rest of our cuts made. This is much easier when I don't try to show you how to do it. Easy breezy. Next up, we need four pieces, eight inches long. We need four pieces at six inches long. And finally, four pieces at four and a half inches long. So now we've got all our PVC cut, got all our joints. It's time to figure out how to put all this together. And the internet instructions I got didn't say anything about that. So I figured it out, I think. And there's half of it. So what we've got is our 90 degree elbow joint, one of the six inch pieces, T joint, eight inch piece, elbow, four and a half inch piece, elbow, and then two of the 20 inch cross members. So now let's build the second half. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a stand for my saddlebags so I can clean them easier. What are you doing? Go acorn hunting. Where do you want to go acorn hunting at? In our backyard? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Those are my saddlebags. <laughs> you got a camera. Yeah, you might be on it. You might be in daddy's video. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm in the, uh, I'm in the camera. <laughs> yeah, you are. And that's Road Reality Junior, everybody. You heard Mrs. Road Reality earlier. This must be hard. You know what? I had to figure it out like a set of Legos, kiddo. So here we are, folks. This is the saddlebag stand. Now we just need to rearrange our joints a little bit so it sits flat. That's right. And then... Put the saddlebags on it. <laughs> That's right. And Road Reality Junior there just got home from school to help dear old dad. There, see, it fits. How neat is that? Now we just need to add the insulation. So let's cut that into the pieces we need. 
So we start with four 18 inch pieces and now we're gonna add four six inch lengths. All right, quiet on the set. Finally, we need four four inch pieces and four two and a half inch pieces. And as it turns out, this PVC cutter, pretty good at cutting this foam too. Bonus. Now we're putting our foam on. The longest sections here, two and a half, six and four go there. And this stuff I bought has uh, self sticky. So you wrap it around, clamp it tight and it, it glues itself on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there you have it, saddlebag stand. I have half a mind to paint it, so that's why I haven't completely stuck the uh, foam on there. Just to uh, give it a, an extra bit of panache, you know what I mean? And now it's gonna be a lot easier to keep my saddlebags clean. Right, Road Reality Junior? He's a little camera shy. And they even work when you're cleaning the backside. Check that out, how cool is that? That's something I've never seen in a video before. Well, folks, you know what time it is. It's time to end the video. We built the saddlebag stand. It looks great, it works great, and hopefully it was pretty easy for you to follow along. So if you liked it, like the video, comment, subscribe, share, all that YouTube stuff. Hit the little bell icon too, why don't you? Anyway, hope you, I do hope you enjoyed it and you know, even with the distractions. So until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep the shiny side up. John out. <laughs>